Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing the book acquiring tag. So this was created by Enter the Book, and I was tagged by Alex from the Bookish Report. I will link to both of their videos below. There are 10 questions and an 11th that isn't a question, and we'll just jump ahead and go right in and start and shit. Dane reads. Question number one, do you plan your book purchase ahead or impulse buy? I do a little bit of both. I actually have a wish list of about 3,000 books that I want to get to. Um, and I've, at the moment I've got this system going where I constantly have a book on order online. So when the book arrives, I order another book and kind of do that. Um, it actually, they don't arrive as quickly as I read them. I sometimes buy some uh, job lots on eBay as well. So there are certain authors where I look out for job lots of them and buy a bunch of books kind of all at the same time. Um, I also do some charity shopping every now and then and get my, my second hand books. For those, quite often the books that I pick up are ones that are on my wish list, but also it's you know not unheard of for me to see a book while I'm out in the charity shops and to go, I wanna read that and to, uh, to pick it up. So a little bit of both. Question number two, how do you decide what books to buy? Okay, so Mostly, when I read a book by an author and I really enjoy it, I tend to add all of that author's books to my wish list and I'm kind of a completionist like that. So a lot of my decisions are based upon that. And then the others are just like, if I hear about a book and I think that sounds good, then I, I normally buy it. Um, or Well, I normally add it to my wish list. And again, if I'm out in charity shops and I see a book, um, like I picked up The Vegetarian by Han Kang, for example, because I'd heard a lot about it on Booktube and was like, I should probably read that. So that's why I picked that one up. Question number three, what is your philosophy on where you shop? Online versus in person, large versus small, physical, digital or audio, new versus used, etc. So I only read physical books, although I will listen to audio books for rereads. Um, I don't really care about the actual book itself as an artifact, I'm more interested in the words. So I'm happy buying used. Um, I don't mind paperbacks versus hardbacks. I guess my preference is paperbacks. Um, mostly do it, online I guess because um, again I order quite a lot online and get my job job lots on eBay uh, otherwise it's it's charity shops or book exchanges and supermarkets question number four what about little free libraries what do you think about them have you used one why or why not so I haven't really used one because um, there aren't any really around here again there are these book exchanges at the supermarkets where you can take a book and you leave behind a donation usually to a charity um, so I use those fairly often. Funnily enough, I have been thinking about building my own little free library to go outside the front of my house as a way of offloading some of the books that I have. Um, I just haven't got round to it. I'm not very DIY -y as well. And I don't know what I'd, I don't know like how I would, mm -hmm. oh, actually let's have a look online. Can you just buy a pre-made free library? Yeah, I don't know what I would use to like create it. I'd need a book receptacle of some kind you know so I don't know if I ever end up with something that I could use to create one I'll probably do it but otherwise probably not question number five how do you feel after acquiring a book do you share like in a book haul or diary well I add it to my goodreads currently reading list and I film a little bit of a haul for my youtube channel and I just at the end at the end of each month I stitch together all of the clips of me hauling different books into a monthly book haul video. Question number six, how do you feel looking at your books that haven't been read? Does it matter if it's currently a lot or little amount? Well, at the moment I have, I think, 11 un unread. Um, I have had in the past up to like 150, um, but I try and keep it relatively low. At the moment, my current goal is to kind of keep it below 10. Um, and I'm pretty much sticking it around that, that 10 mark. I think I got down to about six at one point. And then it got kind of uncomfortable because it got to a point where I actually didn't have a book to read next. Because um, I was like having to read my bedtime books as a main book and all, all that kind of stuff. Question number seven, how do you decide what number of unread books is the right amount? I mean, I don't have a real system to this. I just try and keep it as low as possible. Question number eight, do you have a TBR game or process for reading them? Not really. I, I tend to just pick up whatever I'm in the mood for next. I will say that um, I have like, I guess, three categories of books. So I have my main books, which are just the books I read during the daytime. Then I have bedtime books, which are ones that I'm not particularly like keen to get to. I'm not really feeling them, but I do want to have them read. 
um, so I read those a little bit at a time before I go to sleep and then I have um, audio books which I'm listening to while I do my jogs and um, basically those are bedtime books where I was able to find the audio book of them <laughs> Question nine, do you have a book buying problem? If so, what is the nature of it and can it be adjusted? I mean, the only problem would be that, no, not really. <laughs> Just that I don't, I don't know, I, that I don't really have the money to buy as many books as I would like. I don't know, no, I'm fine, I think. Question number 10, tag two or three others to ponder their book buying process. So I guess we'll go with three then. I'll tag Charlie of Charles Heathcote. I will tag uh, let's tag Jason from Jason's Weird Reads as he recently tagged me in something. And I will tag uh, Alex. Oh no, he, tag he tagged me. And I will tag Kaz from Cats and Camera. And then prompt number 11 or whatever is, know you are awesome just as you are, being a book lover is amazing. Thank you. So there we have it, that's what I made of the book acquiring tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers. Let me know if you do this tag and I'll check out your video as well. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.